Hello and welcome to the Fall 2015 edition of EC464 520 ASIC Design. In this course, you will learn how to design and verify a large digital ASIC and learn general issues about digital ASIC design. But the purpose of this video is not to orientate you to the course. There are orientation videos down here uh, in a technical orientation and an ov overall orientation to how the course will be conducted and most of the features you see on this Moodle page. I just want to cover a few things in this uh, brief welcome. Uh, first of all, the class syllabus, of course, can be clicked on by uh, clicking on syllabus. And I want to point out to you particularly the exam dates. Uh, the exams uh, September 22nd for on-campus students and I'll email uh, off-campus students separately uh, but it'll be around that uh, be very shortly after that time frame and December 8th for on-campus students at 6 p.m. I want you to check to make sure that those are free dates for you again September 22nd and December 8th uh, I expect you to make every effort to get to those exams Secondly, here I've listed the uh, uh, teaching assistants and uh, labs. Uh, this will be more completed as labs gets assigned. For off-campus students, I want to particularly uh, introduce you to Junan Zhu, who is the uh, uh, engineering online TA. The class is in a flip format. It's explained more in the general orientation. Uh, we don't meet every class period. The class schedule is listed in class schedule. Uh, which lists the dates on which we have class and office hours and also remind you of the due dates. But fortunately, Moodle also reminds you of the due dates, as you can see on the right-hand side here. The resources section is quite valuable to you. Uh, in particular, I point out the Sutherland uh, Verilog reference guides are actually quite useful. Remote computing access, um, all engineering online students, and frankly, most on-campus students use this uh, access. EOL students might want to use Blackboard Collaborate, Collaborate to interact with the TAs. The Verilog 2001 standards are also quite valuable to you when you want to refer to very specifically how a feature in the language works. And I've also put in here some links to synopsis documentation and all the tutorials which you'll come to later are in the NCSU EDA wiki. Finally, I highly recommend you subscribe to all the forums. The way you do that is you go to the left hand side here, forums, go up here to uh, the right hand side, subscribe to all forums. After a click, you are now subscribe to all forums and you'll get an email uh, whenever a, a, a question or an answer on a forum uh, participates. And I encourage you to use these forums as part of your learning experience. Welcome again. I look forward to interacting with you in the first class. Thank you very much.